Brexit has happened, the NMC is making changes to the nursing educational system and it's not good. Or is it? Let's find out. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Renee Delane and I do nursing tips, talks and advice on this channel. So if you're interested in videos like that, then please hit the subscribe button. This video will be useful for anyone thinking about going into nursing. If you're currently studying on a nursing program or doing midwifery, or if you currently mentor any students, you will need to be aware of the changes coming. So who are the NMC? The NMC is an organisation who regulates the practices of nurses and midwives in the UK and they sort of have three main roles. Their first role is to provide a high education and professional standard for those studying in the UK on any nursing or midwifery programmes. And this also includes any nursing associates in England. So the second one is maintaining a register of professional eligibility. So this is where we pay £120 every year to stay on the nursing register. Now the third one is for them to investigate and deal with any fitness or practice related issues and this also includes any nursing associates so in short this is what the role of the NMC is for so the NMC is considering modernizing the educational standards for nursing and midwives in the UK so they've done some research including surveys and looked at research that was out there and they've also had views from their stakeholders in order to inform these changes that I will be telling you about. Just to be clear, the changes that the NMC will be putting in place will not affect the standard of care that is expected to be given to patients in our care. The changes is more so to do with the courses and to ensure that they're more flexible and accessible to those who are in the UK studying on a nursing degree programme. So you might be asking, why is all of this happening? Why are we making changes? So as you all know, Brexit has happened. We've now left the EU, so we are no longer bound by the laws of the EU. And we're also currently in a pandemic, and so there is a lot of pressure to get the staffing levels up. So these changes will be put in place to ensure that we can, you know, make those changes to modernise the nursing educational programme, and at the same time providing that knowledge and skills for those who are training to become nurses. So there are proposed three changes currently and they will be working on other changes to come further down the line. So they are currently doing research, more research and looking into what else needs to be changed within the educational system for nursing and midwives. I'm going to read guys what the first proposed change includes. So this includes replacing EU requirement for nursing and midwifery student selection and entry, giving institution such as universities more flexibility to determine their own entry requirements, helping them to be more inclusive and wider participation. So they're giving more onus to the universities to make the decisions about what is needed for someone to get onto their nursing programme. Now it's not to say that they don't expect the same high level standard of entry, but you know, they're gonna give the universities a bit more say in how they um, recruit in how they get people onto the programme to do their nursing degree or midwifery. So the second one is for nursing only. So the NMC is increasing flexibility around the use of simulated learning that reflects real life practice. So the NMC is considering doubling the number of um, hours that we undertake with simulated learning. So the hours will go towards your required 2,300 placement hours. So the simulated learning hours will double. So it will go from 300 simulated learning hours to 600. And I mean, this is not a bad thing because no matter how much you read, undertake research, nothing beats hands-on practice. And you know, 
some people do debate that nursing should be like an on the job practice, be on the ward, be in the community, learn on the go. Some people think the theory side of nursing is, you know, not so essential, but I think everything works in par with each other. You do need to do your critical thinking. You do need to know how to analyze something. So I think, you know, the theoretical part, the university part, theory-based learning is required, but how much do we have a right balance at the moment? I don't know. Tell me in the comments, guys. But the NMC is looking to up the simulated learning from 300 to 600 hours. So the third one is removing the EU requirements for skills and knowledge from the nursing and midwifery program standards. Where these requirements are now incorporated into our standards and proficiency to avoid any duplication. So we're no longer in the EU, we don't need to keep the EU laws and requirements so we can make up our own requirements and you know providing research and evidence base obviously. And is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? let me know in the comments guys so those are the top three things that we know are coming for now so these three things will take effect from 2023 but there are other things being proposed providing they have enough evidence to support this then there are other changes coming and these include keeping the number of specific experiences required during midwifery education such as the number of births as this requires further exploration with subject matter experts so they're not making Making any changes to this side of mid midwifery yet although they are looking at it so you need to watch the space so the next one that they're looking at is to keep the current minimum program length of three years and the total number of hours 4600 for the nursing and midwifery program so they are looking at the length of studies and the hours that we need to do to um, complete our placements that is being looked into changes will come guys it's inevitable if they're modernizing the nhs then we are going to expect some type of change to come so the third thing is that they are going to keep current focus on embedding and evaluating the new midwifery standards before making any wider changes to the program standards so before they make any changes they will use evidence and research to support the changes that they will make and change is good you know change is good if they want to modernize the nhs then yes whether people would like it or not i don't know but we'll have to wait and see what else the nmc will be changing in terms of the nursing educational program so what we do know is that the department of health has asked the NMC to expedite the changes because there is pressures on staffing currently within the nursing field and these changes are proposed to come into place in 2023. So for those of you who are currently on the nursing programme or thinking about going on to the nursing programme, these changes are coming sooner rather than later. So keep your ears and eyes open guys. If I do get any more information, I will put it on my channel. And for those of you who are currently qualified as nurses, how do you feel about revalidation? How do you feel about paying that yearly subscription fee to stay on the NMC register. If you do need some help on how to revalidate, I do have a video on my channel, which you can find here. And I do also have reflection journals. So do check those out. They've got prompts and these will aid effective reflection writing in practice. I'll see you guys in my next video.